Hey guys, Steven here. We are at the Devolver Digital Lot. It's a parking lot, nice black top and numbered spaces uh, right outside of E3. You sunk our battleship. Uh, Zach Furness is here. We just played Eider. Hater. Hater. Uh, it is a, a 2D isometric RPG, real time, uh, Dark Souls inspired. Uh, definitely some influence in there. Tell me about it. It looks a lot like Dark Souls, but they're doing their own little twist on it. It's kind of got a Diablo-esque camera. Well, not just Diablo-esque. It's got the Diablo, Diablo camera going on. The combat is still stamina-based, just like Dark Souls, but there's no mana or anything like that. There's bonfires, so there's definitely similarities, but it's doing its own thing as far as the combat. I think uh, the huge difference is, yeah, everything is kind of item-based. There's no actual leveling system. What you do, I mean, I guess similar to Dark Souls, you can spend souls or not spend souls, but usually you want to spend souls eventually. Uh, in this case, you can have a level, or you can have something called favor, which is gained from beating enemies. And if you have favor, it'll increase your stats kind of at random and automatically and really buff you. But if you die, you lose all your favor that's unspent. So you can do that and kind of let it ride and hope to not die, or you can you know, safely stow away your favor in the levels and just get that guaranteed permanent there boost. Uh, the other great thing is that there is a a sort of punishing system for when you die. It's kind of a you know Mortal Kombat test your luck kind of thing. After you die, you'll get a randomly generated debuff that will uh, kind of make your life worse. If you're really bad though, and you die enough, they'll kind of start going the other way and kind of kind of buffing you. What about what about the the feel, the game feel? How's it feel? It's slow, but I like that. It's not like too punchy. It doesn't feel like really, really responsive. It feels belabored, but you, you feel your attacks, you feel your dodges and everything like that. The blocking feels good, the parrying mechanics are nice. It just feels really intuitive, I guess. You know what you're doing as soon as you touch the controls, especially if you've played Dark Souls, because it is a similar control scheme. But, what's the major difference? I like that it's the, the, the randomly generated loot. It's not just straight up Dark Souls, but they did say that there's going to be certain items that you can find that you need to progress or better weapons and stuff like that. But it kind of gives it that random feel where it, they didn't say randomly generated, I don't think, as far as the maps, right? No, no. Okay, yeah. So that kind of changes it up a little bit with the gear. I fought a really big monster man. He was a ghoul with a black hood and a big uh, ghoul stick, and he did very dark magics upon me, and I died. I got really close the second time, and then uh, we finally beat him. No. Yeah, no, you didn't beat him. I, I mean, we, by which I mean uh, our, our cameraman behind the scenes here went in and took a crack at him. It's pretty fun. It, it isn't r tight in the sense that people usually think of the word in terms of, like, yeah, very punchy, because it is kind of slow and belabored, but it is all very, like, clean, and you know... You know, you know if you're not going to hit, so it, it, it's tight, but it doesn't feel tight and fast like a lot of those things. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. You we should. I was going to say, you move really slow at first. That's one thing that I noticed. Like, I started walking, I was like, wow, I'm bare am I blocking right now? But as soon as you start the sprinting mechanics, it feels a lot better. But no, it feels great. Eater. It's a pretty cool game with skeletons, and you can fight them, and it's fucking beautiful. Jesus Christ. <laughs>